Hi, I have our last video for the unit study using Bear's New Friend by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. This time we're going to really concentrate on what Jane Chapman did and look at the art. So do you see how um, the pages are filled all the way to the edges with picture? And in fact, some of the picture even falls away. Like, see, there's more flower to be had. There's more leaf. There's more tree. We can see the tree trunk, but we don't see the tops of the trees because they're up here. There's more grass, but we don't see it because it's down here. So look at me for a moment. Maddie is taking a picture of me right now so that you can see me, but there's more. I'm in my house right now. So I have walls all the way around. Can you go ahead and show? Look at, there's so much more that you don't normally see when you're watching me. So when we do our art, we can let things spill off of our pages. We go all the way to the ends, just like she does. There's more tree, there's more flower, there's more grass. Look at, there's even more bear. We don't see bear's feet. There's more. And we're gonna go all the way to the edges with our uh, art today. We're gonna spill over and fill up everything, okay? So I'm using crayons. Um, Jane Chapman, she used paint and she also used a uh, pen. So I'm gonna use a little bit of pen. You can see that she used pen to do the whiskers and she used pen to draw the animals and then she used paint to color it in. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to color. I'd like to color a tree and I'm gonna start it all the way down there and I'm gonna have it go all the way to the top of my page. There's more tree here and there's more tree here. My tree is gonna be a nice big tree and I'm gonna have a branch going way off the page. There it goes. That's the beginning of my branch. Look at that. There's my big tree. And then I'm going to have some giant flowers because I like flowers and I want them to be big. But look at that, I don't have enough room for the rest of my petal and that's okay. I'm just gonna make my petals nice and big and remember that there is more to my picture than what the page can fit. I'm gonna put another flower over here and do the same kind of thing. Here are my petals, but some of my petals may not fit on the page. Is that okay? Yep, just doesn't fit. My petals, or my flowers are not floating. They need stems to plant into the soil. There's a leaf. It's kind of a wiggly wobbly weef. <laughs> leaf. <laughs> And what else should I put? I wish I could hear your ideas. I'm gonna put some leaves for my tree. I make my leaves using just three strokes like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you make leaves like that? Nice and easy, huh? And now we have to attach them to a branch. So here's a branch and the leaves are attached. See that? So I have leaves everywhere and then there are grasses. Grass is easy to draw. It's just blades, right? They can go in all sorts of ways. And these are down planted by the tree but there are grasses back here too. I'm gonna draw those. Grass is easy, huh? I can make grass. I'm gonna have a, like long blade of grass, short blades of grass, anything I want. And then I want the sun 
to be right here. Remember, I can't see everything. There's more sun up here. But there's my sun right here. <laughs> hmm, what else can I put on my... Here's a leaf that's just... Maybe I'll make a falling leaf. That one I attached. This one, I'm going to just let it fall. Give little motion signs to it. So now I'm going to use crayons to color. You could use pastels or chalk. I don't think I want to make my trunk orange, though. I think I'm going to make my trunk brown. And see, I can color like this. Oh, you know what I would like to do? I would like to add a bird. So I can color all the way to the ends of my lines. Put in my bark. All the way to the edge. I'm actually going to put a piece of paper underneath so I can just color all the way to the edge and see instead of coloring on my on my table, I let it spill onto that extra piece of paper and I'm sure that my um, drawing goes and fills up my whole page. So I'm going to draw my bird right here. Now, here's my bird and I'm drawing with a pen again. And here are my feathers. Here are my feet. Not my feet, huh? The bird's feet. I want him to be talking a little bit. Now, for me to show that he has feathers, I've drawn my bird, but I'm gonna have the feathers go outside the lines. That shows that he's got really fluffy, fluffy feathers, this little blue bird here. And I'm gonna show his head isn't quite as fluffy by staying inside the lines. But if I go outside the lines, I can make my feathers. You can do that with an animal to give them fur. You can draw outside your lines. It's pretty nice to be able to draw outside our lines, huh? I'm gonna give them a yellow beak. And I think I'll make up my son yellow also. And I go all the way onto my blue paper to make sure that I go outside my paper and it spills in our right. book. Now I want to color my beautiful lawn here, my meadow. And I might want to use more than one green. Do you remember in our book? Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Look at all the different colors of green there are. So many shades. The leaves are really dark. The grass is really light. And even these darks have some little yellow spots in I'm gonna them. color, and remember I gotta keep my blue paper here so I can go all the way off the edge. I'm gonna color, I'm gonna start with these light greens. I'm just gonna color everything I can find with this light green. Can you do that too? All the way to the edge. If I go one way, then I won't I won't bunch up my paper. I don't want it to bunch up. And then I've got some more green and up more here. More green, 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 green. If I'm gonna draw a meadow, I need to have lots of green, don't I? Whoops! That's what I was trying to not do. Is it okay that I wrinkled my paper a little bit? Of course. Of course, of course, mistakes happen. All the way to the edge, green everywhere. There's more to the picture than what we can see on this paper. There's more happening. So all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. So there's my light green. Now I'm gonna add another green. Ooh, this is kind of a yellow green. I'm gonna show that some of my um, blades of grass are lighter, yellower. I'm gonna make this leaf a little bit yellow too. It's falling. They start to yellow and brown when they start to fall. They turn yellow and um, red and orange. I lose some of that green. 
So I've got some extra green in my paper. What about another kind of green? Can I find more greens? What about this green? Oh, that's a different green. I'm going to make it dark next to the tree because the sun can't get all the way in here. So I'm going to go a little bit darker to show that there's some shadow. Here's the sun. So the, the sun can't reach because the tree is in the way over here. So I'm going to make that whole side a little darker. Ooh, now I have a nice dark green. I'm going to put my leaves with this. I'm going to not color it all the way in so that I have some bright spots where the sun is touching. You see that? Just kind of coloring the edges to show that the leaves are a different kind of green, but the sun touches them and makes them a little bit brighter. I'm gonna put some dark down here. And look, these flowers have leaves too. I'm gonna turn these leaves for the flowers darker than the grass. because so it's made out of a different plant. Oh, I think my flowers need some attention, guys. Ooh, that's a pretty red, huh? Right in the middle. And the more I color, the darker it gets. See, if I color very, very lightly, I'm using the exact same crayon, but they look different, kind of putting it darker where the petals are hiding. Okay, so I'm going to go nice and light all across. And look at this petal is in front of this petal, so I'm going to make some shadow there. And the bottom of this petal is going to be a little bit darker. Look at that. So I have light parts and dark parts. Now what's up here? It's very light up there. I think I want some sky. And my sky touches my green. It's not just at the top. It goes all the way to where the green stops. And then how you can use one color and color it many times to make it darker or push harder with your crayon to make it a darker color. We have lots of different techniques here. I'm gonna make the sun or the sky kind of bright up here but maybe a little darker over here. Really dark. And then lighter as we get closer to the sun. All right, there's my drawing. Where's your drawing I'd like at? to see it. I'll talk with you later. Bye.